how to use VirtualBox to run Windows on a Mac. Uh, I need to do this because I want to run Robot C, and it is a Windows only application. So you need to download VirtualBox, which is open source and therefore free. That's nice. Uh, download it for your particular uh, operating system. I have OS 10, so I need to download it for that. You will also need to download the extension pack that's going to enable you to use USB 2.0. You also need to have your own copy of Windows. I went online and I purchased a uh, full version uh, of Windows 8. When VirtualBox is finished being downloaded, you need to open up the disk image and we need to install it. The installation is very easy. Inside that disk image, you'll also see that there is a user manual. The user manual is very well written, and it is what I used to figure this out the first time. It has all the steps to create your first virtual machine. So go ahead, open VirtualBox, and click New. Let's create our first virtual machine. I'm creating one for Windows 8. I'm just going to call it Windows 8. And for most of these things, I use the default settings. I'm going to create a virtual hard drive. I just use the default version. And for me, I ended up deciding I want a fixed size. And I'm giving my Windows 8 guest virtual machine a 25 gigabyte uh, virtual hard drive on my hard drive. Now you can see that the guest virtual machine Windows 8 has been created. The next step is to make sure that we go back and install the extension pack before we forget. This is going to enable us to use USB 2.0 along with some other uh, things. Now we're ready to run our virtual machine that we created before and install Windows into that virtual machine. VirtualBox should recognize your disk drive. I'm using an external one. Make sure your Windows installation disk is inserted and ready. Should be pretty much the same as installing Windows 8 normally. The only difference is that eventually we do not want to upgrade the operating system. We want to make sure that we do a custom install so that we get the full version of Windows. So here, make sure you choose custom install. This is for a full version of Windows. Choose your drive that you created earlier. And it'll run through the installation of Windows. Just like if you were installing Windows on a normal computer, it will restart the virtual machine a few times. You do not want to boot from the CD or DVD, you just wait, and eventually uh, the installation will finish. So now I need to set up my initial settings. All right, so installation's complete. I can go to my desktop and go onto the internet and all the uh, networking is being handled by VirtualBox being passed from my host computer, which is the Mac OS X, and 
being forwarded onto this guest Windows 8. So now I can just go ahead and download any applications I need. Uh, when I'm doing uh, Lego Mindstorms Robotics, I always like to have Mindstorms available in case I uh, get clicking Rick Syndrome. But the real program that I wanted was Robot C because that isn't available on Apple computers. It only runs on Windows. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. I'm going to go ahead and install Robot C. Uh, this probably isn't terribly interesting. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and do this anyways, though, because I want to demonstrate how to make sure that your USB 2.0 is working. All right, our last step, let's close out of uh, Windows 8, power off the machine. I suppose it would be better to send a signal to shut it down. Uh, we need to set up the USB ports in the settings. Enable the USB 2.0 controller, and then we need to create a USB device filter. Uh, it'd probably just be easier to add an empty filter, and that'll give us the uh, access to any USB device in our guest Windows 8 uh, virtual machine. All right, now that we set that up, let's go ahead and run our Windows 8 virtual machine again. Log in. Go to the desktop, uh, let's open up Robot C and verify that we can communicate with our NXT device over USB. Go down to the lower right hand corner and you'll see the little emblem for USB and it'll give a list of devices. Make sure that the unknown device 0694, which is our NXT, is checked. That means that it is now captured and in use by the Windows 8 virtual machine. Let's uh, download our firmware to it. We can see that the device is connected, shows up, and we can now successfully download the firmware. The program does reboot the device, so it might drop off, and you might need to make sure that the NXT shows back up in the list and is still captured.